Hey guys, just a quick reminder before the video starts, if any of you are thinking of doing your HGV licenses or you've just passed your test and you're looking for information uh, on all the theory questions and what you need to know, then take a look at the New Essential Truck Drivers Handbook. Uh, it's really, really handy. It's a nice, easy size to carry around with you, packed with information. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, you won't regret buying this. Crack a little book. Hope you enjoy it. Enjoy the video, guys. Very good morning, guys. How on earth is everyone? Hope everyone is well. It's early. Uh, well, not that early. It's uh, just gone 10 to 6 in the morning. Um, Cad went in at 22. Uh, another couple more minutes and I can get going. I've done my checks. I've done my walk around. Um, yeah, basically, uh, I'm in a lay-by at the moment uh, on the A49 towards Hereford. And uh, I should have been in Ross last night. But unfortunately, they closed the road. Junction before uh, the roundabout before Ross truck stop. So uh, the diversion was up towards Hereford on the A49. So luckily I found a, a lay-by with, uh, with a bit of space in it. So I pulled in here last night with uh, six minutes to spare on my uh, 15. So, uh, yeah. Uh, going up to Leicester this morning. I think I've done this one before. And uh, don't know what I'm doing yet coming back. Our Dave is off this week. Um, so we got Matt, the backloads manager. Uh, he's doing the out and the in. And he works a little bit different to, to Dave. So... Uh, don't know what I'm doing yet for a backload, but uh, yeah, should be something back to the Yags this Wednesday. So happy days. Uh, yeah, nine hours off, and yeah, uh, basically now I gotta head back down that way because it's about 25 minutes quicker rather than going up towards Hereford and cutting across the uh, uh, the A four, I think it is, or something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna head back down towards that way now. The road will be open. That opened at five o'clock this morning. So yes, right. So let's get this day going. Uh, wake myself up a little bit more with my coffee. I have my coffee. And um, so yeah. Oh, wake up juice. Oh. Right. Let's get going. Let's get this day going. Uh, I might not start the time lapse yet because you won't see anything. It's pitch black out there. So, uh, yeah. I catch you just before I get to Leicester. Speak to you in a bit, guys. <coughs> Doodles. Looking for a reason Driven by
Hi guys, welcome back. Ah, a little bit more awake than I was earlier on. <laughs> right, I am three and a half miles from my destination in Loughborough. Uh, Matt's funding page. <laughs> wow, is all I can say to that. Um, links in the description uh, towards his funding page. We are over £2,400 now. £2,400. wonder if we can get to the 3000 mark by the uh, end of the month. That would be good. What have we got left now? It's the 23rd, so another week before the end of the month. What do you reckon? It'd be nice if we could. Uh, I was talking to Matt last night and uh, he's over the moon. Over the moon. And uh, you also got a check in the post as well from uh, one of you guys. I, um, I did mention it before. Uh, I'll have to double check it and uh, I can't remember the name of the person that sent it. I do apologize. But um, yeah, that has, has arrived. He has received that check. Um, so yeah, fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, I just don't know what to say. It's blown me away. It really has. The response has been absolutely fantastic. Um, yes, it's for a good cause. Um, it's close to my heart. It's close to Matt's heart. Um, it's close to, you know, judging by all the messages um, that are on the funding page that go along with the, uh, the donations, it's close to a lot of people's hearts. So thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. If you haven't donated yet, then please, if you can, if you can afford anything, doesn't matter what it is, as I keep saying, 10p, 50p, a pound, five pound. Um, <clears throat> yeah, whatever you can afford uh, will be very, very much appreciated. Um, I'm saying I'm gonna keep plugging this now until uh, the end of the month. Uh, see if we can get some more uh, for his funding page and he's doing because of the amount raised he's gonna he's gonna try and double the mileage he's done over 400 miles now um, on the on the bike um, he's aiming to get the 600 before the end of the month um, obviously weather dependent and everything else uh, but he said to me last night he is he is gonna try and double it if he could double it he'd be more than happy um, obviously because of everything that's been raised you know uh, he was looking to get 150 pound and uh, we are now over 2400 I haven't checked this morning to see what the uh, the actual um, total is but I will check it later on and I will let you know uh, this is just gonna be a one-day vlog I gotta do it tonight when I get home I'll edit it and it'll be out tonight so uh, and then I'll record then tomorrow and Friday then for the weekend um, as I said last week, it, I won't be doing midweek vlogs every week, but when I can, I will. Um, so, yeah. I'm going very fast, so you might as well jump in front of me. Come on, speed up. Santa is showing a 30 second delay, but it's obviously just a little bit of uh, rush hour traffic this morning. Tom Tom's come back on. <laughs> um, I did contact Tom Tom and uh, they have sent me another unit. Uh, that arrived yesterday apparently. So uh, what I might do is I'll, they've, they've put in a, um, a returns label so I can uh, return the uh, the unit it's come back on but I have told them I'll I'll send it back anyway and I'll have the new unit but uh, don't know what caused that I did have it on the 6200 as well um, it could be a case of it's just getting a little bit hot in the screen with the sun shining on it um, and then when the power runs down on it um, it'll reset itself and comes back on because uh, when I tried it Monday morning 
to switch it on. It came up with a little battery sign on it. So I thought, oh, the screen's working. So I plugged it in and they pressed up. It came back on. So it's either that or it's because I keep letting it go into sleep mode rather than shutting it down at night. I should shut it down at night. And I have been doing that this week. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. See what happens with it now. Uh, let's see if the is a new unit in the house for me, so I'll have a look at that tonight. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I haven't been to this one before, it's not the one I was thinking of. Uh, say the last one I went to was Leicester, and this one I'm going to was Loughborough, so slightly different. That's very kind of him. Is this going on there? As I said earlier, I don't know what I'm doing yet on the back load. I'll find that out when I've uh, when I've tipped, because uh, Matt is doing the loads and the back loads this week because Dave's off for the week. So uh, <clears throat> he does it day by day rather than uh, apparently Dave knows what's coming in and when it's coming in. So that's why he gives all the back loads out with the jobs. But uh, Matt does it a different way. And uh, as Matt said last night, Dave's got 20 years experience on it and uh, Matt hasn't. So he said he just does it day by day and gets through it, which is fair enough. Apparently a mile away. So not far now. So you got a full load on, I got 26 pallets from Thermo Fisher. We're still doing our bit for the medical supplies. And it's crazy, isn't it? Everything going back into lockdown. Will everything be on a full lockdown, I wonder, for a couple of weeks? left at this roundabout. After 400 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Mission Meadow Road. Welcome to Loughborough. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Science Park. Uh, could be it, going to Fisher Scientific, so could be that way. Thermo Fisher. There we are then. So it's Thermo Fisher delivering the Thermo Fisher. Fisher. Yeah, Fisher Scientific. Gates are closed there, no entry. On there, then. After 150 yards, you have reached your destination. All the gates are closed here. Yeah? Right. Turn myself around somewhere. You have reached your destination. Hang on. Belden Road West.
There we go. Job done, and we are here. Okey-dokey. Alright, let's find out where they want me, whether I'm backing onto a bay or whether they're going to take it off the side. Uh, bear with me, come back to you shortly. Doodles. I'll try and get out of here now. Not too bad, 9.34. I've got you at uh, 20 past eight. There we go. That, um, I came past the one gate. It was gate three that I needed. That's it, clear. Um, yeah, it was gate three that I needed. So uh, I had to come back out of there, come back down and then turn right. It's good to gather up the gate ready for me then to go in. So you live and learn. So the next time I get down here now, I know exactly where I'm going. Um, it was a bit of an awkward reverse. Wish I'd caught it on camera now, but never mind. Not a worry. Sort of, uh, you had to drive in and go to the left with the small car park, and there was one bay uh, on there um, with a drop <clears throat> just as you're approaching the bay. So you got to sort of swing it around the corner of the drop, so you're not dropping the trailer off the edge, um, and then you got the fence close to the other side as well. So yeah, not bad though. Did it with one shunt, so pretty good. <clears throat> And uh, now I'm going down to uh, Medpoint Park, uh, picking up the overspill for the uh, overnight pallet network stuff, and then back to the yard. Um, what I'm doing after that, I have not got a clue. Because obviously it's, uh, they know I'm going home. Matt has just uh, mentioned it to me now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be back pretty early, really. So that's just something all uh, local for me to do. Collecting a few loads out of thermo and take them back to the yard or maybe a couple out of catnicks or whatever. Um, that's a wait and see now. So yeah, I've uh, booked into the TPN uh, pallet network um, for 11 o'clock. So I can stop the services on the way back down just had a break while I was on the bay there I was on there for over an hour so um, <clears throat> so I've reset my driving time it's not a problem but I need to use the facilities and uh, yeah so I can stop at uh, Tamworth stop at Tamworth services um, before getting to uh, the hub so I can get in there then for about hopefully 10 to 11 they let me in then. I say I did it yesterday. That was the first time me, for me being in there yesterday. Um, and I took that back down last night. And then obviously I ran back out this last night then with the with this load. But uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a relatively short vlog. But at least you've seen what I've been doing today. So something's better than nothing, isn't it? You know what I mean? <laughs> Yes, so um, I know I'm not going to be able to record in the in the hub. That's a dead cert. Um, <clears throat> so 
yeah, not going to be a lot. Just me basically waffling and you seeing where I'm going. Be about it for today, I would think. I'd say the way I've waffled so far, I've probably got about 20 minutes worth of footage already. So, probably about 40 minutes by the time I finish today, I would think. So, not too bad. A short one in the midweek, and then over the hour on the, on the weekend. <laughs> uh, there we are. Anyway, right, I'm waffling now. I'm gonna crack on, and I get the Tamworth. Go and use the facilities. And, uh, and then get over to the hub. So, uh, slow down, end of the 30 zone, yeah. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna crack on, and I'll uh, catch you a bit later. Toodles. <laughs> right, didn't have time to uh, go down to Tamworth. For all about uh, Donington Park, actually. And uh, of course, whatever you travel now, you gotta have your mask on. So, <laughs> got my smiley face on. And uh, also, <laughs> breakfast roll, gotta be done. Yep. There we go. All right, heading back to the truck now. And then. Uh, have me break my breakfast roll and I'll be uh, heading down to the hub. Get there for 11 o'clock then. Smack on time. <sighs> right, I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Toodles. Welcome back, guys. All right. I have had my breakfast roll, left the services. And uh, I've just come off Junction 9, the M42 now. So I just thought I'd take you down towards Medway. After all, i got to put something in the vlog. <laughs> um, oh, I'm in the wrong lane here. Ah, oh, no. Oh, I'm in the wrong lane. Alright, nice and clear behind now. Ah, there we are. That better up. Going back onto the 42 there. Take the exit, A4097, Kingsbury Road, then turn left. Uh, how long was I in here for yesterday? I think it was about an hour. I had uh, 19 pallets to go back down to the yard. Uh, well, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, booked in for 11 o'clock. I get there 10.56. Uh, it's 10.50 at the moment, so not too bad. yesterday when I came in here because I've never been in here before um, missed the turning because I have wanted to take me straight down and then turn left at the traffic lights which takes you through Minworth village now there's no weight limit but I think this part on the left uh, has been opened specifically so you don't go through the village because when you come back out of Medway it actually says all oh, heavy goods this way uh, so you don't go through Minworth village but I didn't know that, but I do now. Different. <laughs> Watching the truck on the back of the low end, low loader as well as the main truck. So we got a mile and three quarters to go. A little dual carriageway here. And 
there it goes back to one lane again and then uh, got a hook a left it's a car washes and truck washes down here Do 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 do. A uh, few of you have asked me as well about the uh, the bouncy seat. <laughs> yeah, there's no actual uh, lock off mechanism on this one, so uh, there's no way of stopping it from bouncing. But saying that, I suppose a lot of you have watched Kev's uh, videos with his Renault, and uh, <laughs> I think I can count myself lucky. The my seat's not as bouncy as his. He's watching his vlog on the weekend, and uh, the way he's uh, driving and it's bouncing around, typical. Fucking sat in the rain. Um, yeah, this is where I should have gone yesterday, but I went up to the top and then turned left. Uh, yeah, watching Kev's vlog on the weekend and he was driving with the camera facing him. My God! I think I'd end up with whiplash. Keep right, then turn right. No, I'm not going down that way. Turn right, Midworth Parkway, then turn left. Certain things with an AV that is unexplainable. I mean, it's quicker and easier to come this way, but yet it wants to take you down there and then to the left. Strange. Take you through Minworth Village. So when I get in here now, uh, I've got to give him the depot number with a reference number and uh, give me a couple of cards to put in the window one with a depot number on and uh, one with one of those square things that you scan can't think what they're called now um, and you pull up to one side open your curtains up uh, go around to the back queue up wait for yourself to be called in and uh, they take you in you stay in your truck sit on the bunk or the passenger seat and then, uh, and they tell you when you're loaded. Then they load you. And you come out, and then you shut your curtains down. Strap the load and shut your curtains. So, pretty straightforward. The thing is, now I'm going to get wet opening the curtains. Am I? Not to worry. Right, I'm going to shut everything off here now because I'm turning right into the depot. I don't want to record in the depot just in case. So I will talk to you when I'm on my way out. It is now 10.55. See what time I get out. Catch you in a bit, guys. Toodles. All right, guys. <coughs> uh, I'm in the hub at the moment. I just thought I'd give you a quick look-see rather than driving through or whatever else so you can see exactly what's going on. I'm um, sat in the bunk at the moment, so what you're going to do, uh, sat in the bunk, or the uh, driver's seat, or passenger seat I should say, uh, before they'll start uh, loading you. Um, but this basically is the hub. I'll give you just a quick showing round, as you can probably see in the mirror there, being loaded at the moment. It's a busy little place. Uh, when I got you this afternoon, or this morning, it was quite a big queue yesterday when I got you in the afternoon there was no one there I just came straight in but today I had a queue of about 11 trucks in front of me so times now 10 to 12 so it's not too bad I can't remember what time I said I got you just before 11 o'clock on it so I've been about an hour at the moment and I'm being loaded so yeah so I just thought I'd give you an update how I'm getting on and uh, yes it's not bad coming in here actually it's all right Pretty straightforward. Oh, there we are. Anyway, I'll uh, come back to you when I'm leaving. Catch the bit, guys. Doodles. Ah, done. A little bit wet. 
high vis is now soaking wet. Uh, and now I've finished strapping everything down. It stopped raining. Typical. <sighs> Never mind. It's all sent to test us. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, times are now. Just gone 10 to 1. So I've been in here for two hours. Well, not too bad. So I had a bit of a queue when I got in, as I said to you earlier. But once uh, I got in the queue with the curtains open, it went down pretty quick. Hey, hang on two seconds. Hello, buddy. Hello. There we go. Cheers, mate. Oh. The same guy that sorted me out yesterday for the first time. Must be on an afternoon shift or something this week. Um, yes, time I got through the queue. It didn't take long. And it was about 40, 45 minutes getting uh, tipped. And the end of the Turn left, midpoint way. And uh, just had to come outside then, in the pouring down rain, to strap everything down. Which I've done, and I'm a bit damp now. But my spirits are not dampened, I'm still in a good mood. <laughs> oh, yes, so I'm going to be back at the yard roughly about it says eight minutes past four, but I'll probably make some time up going down. So I'm probably there about four o'clock. Uh, time I unstrap this lot and uh, drop the trailer. Probably about half past four or five o'clock by the time I'm finished. Give the truck a quick blast over with the washer. Fuel up. Um, and then head off home. And edit this for you guys. So that's the hub, that's uh, the uh, pallet network that we do overnight and obviously if there's anything uh, that it can't get on the, uh, the overnight run then they send someone in to pick up the overspill which I've done now for the last two days. I don't mind it, it's not bad at all, pretty straightforward and it's a lot easier when you know where it is. <laughs> Okay, right, uh, uh, how long have we been waffling for now? Nearly three minutes, that's not too bad. I want to keep the clips too long, otherwise the, uh, the video will be long, very, very long again. And for one day, it's, uh, it's a bit long for a, a one day at over an hour. I'm hoping this one's going to be about 40 minutes, there or thereabouts. So, I'm going to crack on. I may do a little time lapse on the way down. Probably won't do it from here, but I'll do it from some point. And then uh, I'll speak to you when I'm back at the yard. So I shall catch you shortly. Doodles.
Uh, made some good time actually. Uh, this traffic's a bit of a mad on this Havard on this hill. Uh, amazing what can happen when you just close one lane. It all backs up. I've been stuck in this now for about 10 15 minutes. Um, we uh, said, I think, of about eight minutes past four, I think I said I was going to get back to the yard. At the moment now it's quarter to four, so pretty good. Um, I caught a little bit of traffic on the M5. Um, luckily enough, we only closed one lane uh, coming back towards the M50. Um, but to to going the other way, back up towards the M5, the M42, M6, they closed the motorway completely between uh, 6 and 7 for uh, barrier repairs. Looks like something had gone straight into it. Looked like a lorry. The amount of damage it was there. But uh, yeah, that was completely closed. So uh, traffic was tailing back from junction 6, no, junction 7, all the way past the M50 turn off. That's about seven miles worth of uh, traffic and it was all ram solid. Crazy. So glad I wasn't going that way. Uh, Matt's funding. Unbelievable guys. Uh, 2,660 the last time I checked. 2,660. I think we might make the 3,000 before the end of the month. Quite possibly the way things are going. So let's have a last minute ditch now for the last week. And uh, descriptions, no, I, no. The uh, link is in the description below. Uh, if you haven't donated, um, if you could, be very much appreciated, whatever you can afford. Whether it be 10p, 50p, a pound, five pound, 10 pound. Uh, there has been quite a few 100 pound donations which is really nice. Um, never thought I'd get donations like that. But uh, yeah, it's all down to you guys. Absolutely brilliant. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Absolutely brilliant. You guys are just amazing. And never in a million years thought that we would raise nearly 3,000 pound. I know, let's say Matt was only looking to get 150. Let these cars out to the right there. Um, yeah, Matt was only looking to get 150. And, uh, well, 2,660 is a little bit more than 150 pounds. So it's uh, well impressive. And that's all, as I say, all down to you guys. You guys are just A1. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and it's all in for a good cause, cancer research. Um, I know I keep saying it, but as you know, it's close to my heart as well because of my sister. Uh, so whatever I can do to help that, I will. And uh, this has just, just gone above and beyond. I gotta be honest, above and beyond. Yes. Uh, not a lot in this one I know but at least you've seen what I've been doing during the day you've seen where I've been, where I've gone um, it's only a quick day vlog so let's say when I get home this evening now um, I'll edit it up and hopefully get it up relatively early if I can because I think I'm going to be home pretty early it'll be finished it's gonna be, I think I'll be finished about 5 o'clock uh, I'll be home very very early I'll get this sorted and hopefully I'll get it up by about seven o'clock fingers crossed because I know you guys like a, a little midweek vlog and just glad you're enjoying my journey with Fennyman's because I am absolutely loving it I'm not gonna do the song again Oh, go on it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Yes. It's really good. I've never been so relaxed in a job. 
never ever been so relaxed in a job i gotta be honest Hey, uh, Good. Right on the roundabout. only a couple of mile away from the yard now. Do 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 do. Sounded sweet for a golf. Da 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 da. Change the exit. A four seventy two. Very poorly designed this. Solid white line there so I can't cross it to go into the left side. So I've got cars coming up my inside as I'm going around the corner. And then I've got to pull over. Very bad design that. But hey, who am I? <laughs> hey, I don't know. Right. So that's going to be me now for today and uh, I'll do another vlog, start another vlog in the morning. That'll be for the weekend. So I uh, hope you've had a good week so far. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter uh, pages. Uh, it's at uh, Jenko Trucker on Twitter, um, Trucker Jenko on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, don't forget to check out if you want to know what's going on with Ferryman's at Ferryman Limited on Instagram, Ferryman Limited on Facebook, and at Ferryman Limited on Twitter. Go and give them a follow and uh, keeps you updated of what everyone's doing. Um, and Kath puts things up quite often. So uh, yeah, go check out them as well. Give them a like. Be nice to get the numbers up on uh, Ferryman's uh, pages as well. That's it for the day. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, whatever you're doing, be safe, be good, and I'll most definitely catch you in the next one, guys. Doodles.